All right, thanks for staying with us. Um, you're still watching Ways. In 2012, the United Nations General Assembly designated February 6th as the day, um, um, the International Day of Zero Tolerance for Female Genital Mutilation with the aim to amplify and direct the efforts on the elimination of this practice. Hey, <laughs> we talk about this all the time. I mean, it's just, it, it, it's, uh, alarming and maybe worries me a little bit that even as a, this is 2023 mm -hmm. there is still female genital mutilation going on I was reading that this year there's at least 4.3 million girls who are at risk of you know facing this very disgusting issue mostly girls in Asia um, Africa Latin America and stuff it's just but I'm grateful for the sensitization. It, there has been a lot of decrease in the numbers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. So I hear Norma has joined us via Zoom. Hi, Norma Fanga. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi, Hi Hi, Hi. Hello. Hi, Uwa. How are you doing? You all look beautiful. And so do you. How are you? I'm great. Awesome. I'm happy in there. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. So since you are the one that is just joining us, let's start with you. What did you find for us in the news? Oh, unfortunately, I found very really sad news this uh, Monday evening as uh, an earthquake took place in um, Turkey and Syria and uh, they have been most devastated as we speak and been following the news of day. Initially, it was about uh, 1,000 people who had been confirmed dead. But as we speak, we have over 2,700 people who have been confirmed dead during this powerful earthquake that hit this morning. And the tremors went to as high as 7.8, I believe. And um, this took place today, earlier today, and affected areas in Syria and Turkey as well. And these tremors that were felt went as far as Israel and Lebanon to tell you how serious the impact was. And it's so unfortunate. They're trying to rescue teams that are running around, trying to get people out of the debris. But as we speak, over 2,700 people about that are dead at the moment. And uh, many more have been injured. And um, People are trying seriously to rescue people from the debris. It's so devastating. Sleeping and waking up to this kind of news or waking up to this kind of experience. Some people are stuck in the cold. I believe it started snowing as well. So it's it's just a mix of all sorts of chaos going on there in uh, Turkey and Syria. Really unfortunate situation to start the week with. Honestly, it goes out to those who have lost family members in this in this situation lost property mm. as well it's, it's really very sad and unfortunate so i saw i saw a few videos going on, um viral online how you know tall high-rise building was just dropping like you know as if like a pack of cards in fact i had i've been trying to yeah. reach a friend of mine that i know moved her family to the to turkey you know she's not been able to pick the call yet i'm just hoping she's fine i've left her a message i mean it's really scary what you see online you just see like a whole building coming down like you know it's as if you just had like um, a pack of cards so just pull that one and everything is just coming down um i, I our hearts really go well, the, the videos are really they're really, really scary really scary, and really scary. The, the scary part i thought of it in nigeria imagine that things like this happen in nigeria the state of situation hmm. in our country let's, let's not even let's not even imagine it terrible let's not even imagine it absolutely we're still dealing with uh what's it called um it's no i'm even talking about the collapse building based on our own human mm -hmm. uh what's it called error mm -hmm. and they now come and talk about natural yeah. uh, let's not even go there all right so let me quickly go to you sanzi your story Okay, so, well, my story is not exactly the best news, but um, way better than the death toll, uh, the quake incident in Turkey and Syria. 
So, um, um, Labour Party presidential candidate has come out to say that um, encourage Nigerians that we should bear the Naira redesign or the Naira note scarcity in good faith because at the end of the day, it's good for the economy on the long run, right? And I know we've talked about it. We talked about the the frustrations people are going through a lot last week, but then. Liz, reading what he said, it makes a lot of sense to me. But then the question is, with the way we are frustrated as Nigerians, can we handle delayed gratification? Now, I get that the, Ni the Naira redesign is for maybe to discourage votes buying. I think that's part of the reasons. But also, yes, we face um, terrible implementation. But at the end of the day, he makes a lot of sense to me that on the long run, this would be beneficial to the society, especially as per votes buying. But yeah, CBN needs to do better with implementation. Well, we will, we will, we'll, we'll keep an eye on this matter. Simple. <laughs> I think we dealt with it last week. Too yeah. Much. Mm. All right, Nello, your story. Okay, uh, well, somewhat good news. Teens won a Grammy Award over the weekend. Yes. And she's the first Nigerian artist to win the Grammy Award. And I'm, I'm very excited about this because I've always said this, listening to Tame Music, what, four or five years back, I knew there was something about her. Uh, there was something different about her. And so when I saw this yesterday, I was like, okay. Unfortunately, our dear Bonner boy lost. Both nominations, Tame. right? Mm. <laughs> But yeah, thank God for things. I'm so happy to hear this. And everybody congratulated her from your president. You know, it was beautiful. Like, I was watching clips online of her greeting Beyonce, like the mm, top artists, Mary J. Blige, DJ Khalid. Mm. I'm like, this is really success. And I hope, like, unlike some other artists I know that allow the success get into the head, I'm not going to call the gender, I hope that she remains um, humble. And you know, fan interaction is very important. Humility. And then humility is um, humility is well to a lot of people it means something. Humility is for me it means like accessibility. Like don't forget, don't lose track of where you're coming from and the people who made you. It's like I think gratitude is a huge part okay. of humility. humility. All right. Yeah. Okay, so my story is just a quick one. I'll just read the headline um so the court has um again uh, they want to commit the efcc boss to prison kuje prison to be specific this is according to them um, um he disobeyed the court so they are charging him for contempt he disobeyed the court and um so they've asked that he remains in kuje prison for the next 14 days until he purges himself of contempt and this is linked to a particular case where someone had filed to the court or sued him, saying that he detained him unlawfully and all of that. You know, these kind of stories, they sweet me. <laughs> but let's see how far that will go. We'll take a break now because we ran out of time. When we come back from the break, we want to discuss the 2023 elections and we'll bring up our guests. Stay with us. We'll be right back.